What up guys, Big John Skater here. Uh, this video is for how to get that mirror-like shine realistic gloss out of your model cars. Uh, these are the three that I've done it with. This is the CUDA. It is finally finished. So just thought you guys would like to see that. Here's the CUDA. I did this upstairs so uh, in my window we could see the shine. But this is the CUDA basically. It's all done. Put the hemigraphic under the clear so it'll be shiny too. And it is. So how I did this car. Well this car. This the CUDA and the Integra are basically the same exact way how I did them. The CUDA involves a polishing system I did. But I didn't do what they say to do. And the Integra you could do just with 2000 grit sandpaper. But. And then e clips I did with the polishing kit. But first way we're going to show you how to do it, I'm going to show you how to do it is the polishing way, which is the e clips. First, what you want to do is scuff down your model car with 1000 to 2000 grit sandpaper. This is just 2000 I picked up. I don't know where my 1000s are, I think they're all wet. But you get the body all wet sanded like that and get all the plastic gloss off. After that, you put your primer on, two coat, two heavy coats, wet sand that with 1000 to get tooth and smooth. Then you put your base coat on, which is like silver and blue, which is I used my Tommy Yaw masking tape. Tommy Yaw masking tape, really good stuff for the price. Then, after, did your, do, after you do your base coats, I use, this is what I've been using for like probably about a couple months at least. Duplicolor truck van and SUV clear coat. Clear top coat. Eight bucks. Good product. I highly recommend it. Uh, Walmart doesn't sell their own. They sell Krylon and uh, rust -Oleum. Kmart sells their own, which is it's still good too. But I, I'll just stick with that because it works. After you put down your couple coats of that on your car, if you're using the polishing system, I highly recommend at least four or five coats to get it good. Then polishing kit you'll get rags then you'll get the micro gloss liquid abrasive which is like a rubbing compound but very fine then you'll get your mesh micro mesh which ranges from 2400 grit which is rougher than 2000 grit because it's in a it's not an automotive sanding then it ranges up to 12,000 it's really fine trust me it's really fine so you'd go from the least to the greatest amount number. And then that's what you do on the clear coat. You get it super smooth. But I never use the 2400 because it's so it's rougher than 2000. It's going to eat it away quickly. So I usually start at like the 3200, which equals out to around about 1200, 12,000, or 2000 probably. So, And this was 20 bucks for the kit at Micromark, which is a really good comp. Is a, it's like a place that sells all kinds of hobby stuff. So, and then you would buff it out, buff it out like three times. Then you, I use Mother's Carnaboo Cleaner Wax. It smells good and it brings out really good shine. And this is what it would look like. The shine, really nice. That's how I use the polishing system. Now in the Integra, what I did was I followed the exact same way up to the color. Then I applied my clear coat. After I got my clear coat on there, I wet sanded the clear down with 2000 and get it super smooth. And I just put one final smooth over coat on it and I used Mother's Wax. Then the CUDA, what I, I was planning to do is using the polishing system to get it, but I didn't. What I did was, did everything all the way up to the clear coat, got the clear coat on, let it dry overnight. Started wet sanding with, got it all the way wet sanded with just the roof, wet sanded, and then I buffed it out. All these like little imperfections showed up. Like actually, the clear coat like it didn't have anything rise over the clear coat. Actually, had them lowered, and it was like little like divots in the clear coat. So I wet sanded that down with, again with I think it was like third two hundred. I used just get super smooth. And then I laid on a nice clean coat of clear coat, which turned out to be 
it's almost like perfect clear. I have, may have gotten lucky, but it looks good. It's like it's better than the Eclipse, I think, and shine. But I only did the roof. I didn't do nothing else. So everything else, it still looks shiny. Then after I was done with that, I used Mother's Cleaner Wax and just did the entire model with wax until it looked beautiful. But this, that was just a request that was sent to me. Uh, I hope that helped you guys. Uh, one other thing I use is uh, old bed sheets. My dad was getting rid of them. I was like, I'll just cut a piece off because it's cloth. And it works perfect for that. Uh, that's basically it, I would suggest. But it, this took me. I started using clear coat and just clear coat, clear coat, clear coat. That's it. No wet sand or nothing. But I decided to try wet sanding in it. Trust me, guys. I go out and spend. Maximum thirty dollars on stuff to make your it'll trust me it'll make your models look flawless in paint. Uh, but I suggest not to do is use a water color water water based paint. Water based. The Cuda and the Eclipse are water based paints. They turn out perfect though, and that is enamel. But the only thing with this one. And this one, I didn't use my gray primer like I told you guys to use, but I did on the on the uh, Integra. I used my water-based white paints on all of them to get that pop and pop out. But <coughs> you can see on the Eclipse, it you can see the blue and all the crevices on the top. If you can see it or not, but the door jams, you can see the blue. That's because the white didn't stick, which meant the blue just seeped in there and didn't stick, so it was just like in there. But it, I mean, it, look, it looks okay, but you could see into there and look at all that thing. So I always use like spray primer or nothing but water based. But the paints work well if you use them over regular like Duplicolor primer or Walmart or Kmart. But this is basically it for the paint video. Um, hope this guys helped you out a lot. Definitely try it. Use it on an old kid if you want to. Uh. Always make sure to, before you go to the next grit sandpaper, always wash your mold because it's going to, they might leave some sand scratches, but that's basically it. The next project I'm doing now is finishing up that uh, <coughs> Tiger Elephant tank. After that, I'm either starting my 71 GTX or the, uh, I think it's a 69 Camaro Chevelle and Super for last because I don't want them to be perfect. Uh, what I'm thinking about doing is, for the Chevelles, painting it, I think blue maybe, like a blue metallic or blue pearl, <coughs> and then put the stripes on. But the stripes, I want to do ghost stripes, which means if you look at it a certain way, you can see them. Because I was at the Hogtown USA and they had this uh, one type of paint. It was It was white with blue or white with purple. But I think whenever it dries, it's clear. But I have to look at that. I know that's how they do it in the auto world, but they mix pearl with clear coat. So I'm going to have to look at that, do some ghost stripes on something, either a blue Chevelle or a black Chevelle. That would look sweet. But that will be later on down the road. So I hope this guy's helped you out. If you have a tip vid uh, you want me to do or a how-to video, just you know where to look me up at. Send me a message. Comment me. Uh... Don't be shy, guys. I mean, it don't matter to me. I'll, if I know how to do it, I had a request to do uh, d cutting doors open and doing hinges, but i never done it before. But I'm going to try on an old kit. So, see you guys later.